Are you worried that trying to follow the Mediterranean diet is going to drain your wallet even faster than grocery shopping already does? Well, that's a myth I'd like to bust. I'm going to give you all the reasons why eating the Mediterranean way every day could be one of the most cost-effective changes you can make. Plus, I'll add my 10 best tips about how to start saving today. Before we dive into the money-saving strategies, let's just review what the Mediterranean diet is all about. It's a way of living that's based on making the most of humble ingredients, simple whole foods, heart-healthy fats, an abundance of less expensive beans, legumes, and whole grains, and more expensive fresh fruits and veggies. Pricier lean animal proteins, they're used, but more as flavor enhancers, not plate-filling portions. And it's not just about what you eat, it's also about an active lifestyle that delivers a whole range of health benefits, from decreased risk of heart disease to my favorite, improved brain power. First, let's tackle the big misconception head on. The idea that the Mediterranean diet is a luxury reserved for those with deep pockets. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to be wealthy to be healthy, because when we buy smart, buy seasonal, buy on sale, and follow a few other money-saving tips, the Mediterranean diet can be cost-effective and filled with all sorts of healthy advantages. These first ideas are totally free things that you can save a bundle on without spending a nickel. And they're the things you might not put on a grocery list, but they can have a bigger impact on your budget than you might realize. Getting a little bit of exercise every day is one of the core principles of the Mediterranean diet. But do you have to take out an expensive membership at a gym? Nope. Put on a pair of walking shoes like I do and head out the door for a totally free exercise program. And use one of your phone-a-friend lifelines and ask somebody to join you. Enjoying social time is another Mediterranean diet fundamental that doesn't cost a dime. If you maintain a healthy diet, will it reduce the number of visits to the doctor or cut down on the number of meds you might be paying for? Chances are your healthcare costs are gonna drop when you embrace some simpler, healthier ways to live every day. And there's plenty of research to back this up. In the long run, it's probably the single biggest invisible savings you'll gain from embracing this healthy lifestyle. And when you start to enjoy learning how to prepare healthy meals at home and stocking your pantry with those low-cost emergency ingredients that save you from eating out or ordering in, your weekly food budget is gonna drop a lot. So remember, it's not always visible on your grocery store receipt, but it's probably just as valuable or more to your bottom line. Now let's dig into some really specific changes you can make that'll show up at the checkout lane. The secret to affordability and freshness lies in seasonal produce. Fruits and veggies that are in season often come with a much smaller price tag and a larger nutritional punch. Think of juicy tomatoes and crisp zucchini in the summer and earthy root vegetables and long-lasting squashes in the fall. And really pay attention to where your produce comes from. Skip expensive imported fruits and veggies that drain your wallet and instead pay a visit to your local farmer's market if there's one in your area and take the opportunity to support the hardworking local growers in your own community. This is something George and I know from firsthand experience. We sold our olive oil and fresh jams and sauces at Southern California farmer's markets for seven years before we moved to Spain. There is no better place to be inspired to eat locally and seasonally when you're surrounded by all the colors and the textures and flavors of the market and get the chance to mingle with other folks that share your passion for healthy eating too. The Mediterranean diet is not a vegetarian diet, but it relies much more on inexpensive plant-based proteins than pricey animal ones. You can ditch the notion that meat is a must-have in order to get enough protein. Beans, lentils, chickpeas, they're not only protein-rich, but they're also really budget-friendly substitutes. And canned tuna, salmon, or sardines are often much more affordable options than fresh, and they're just as good for you. If you really love the flavor of meat, don't eliminate it completely. Just try smaller portions, a little less often. I think of meat as a flavor enhancer, like when I add a small block of bacon to a large bean and veggie stew that makes 12 portions, or when I break up one turkey burger patty and include it with a white bean broccoli and whole grain rice dish that'll make four portions. I get all the flavor advantages and a lot less of the unhealthy qualities. 
If you have a taste for expensive ingredients like I do, don't worry about it. You can still enjoy things like a beautiful aged wedge of Parmesan cheese that'll last for weeks, sometimes months. I love to use just a small shaving over pasta or fish or potatoes that brings a tasty finishing touch. And when tomatoes are their lowest in price and highest in flavor, I celebrate by layering fresh mozzarella and some homegrown basil in a caprese style salad. Do I do this all the time? Of course not. But does it make me enjoy my healthy, low-cost seasonal ingredients even more? You bet. And speaking of premium items, I'd like to take a minute and talk about the quintessential Mediterranean diet ingredient, extra virgin olive oil. With the drought in Spain, worldwide prices have gone through the roof, even here in Spain. So look for locally grown oils that might be better buys. Try to stick with fresh harvest years and hunt for blended varietals from growers you trust that might be a bit more affordable than the single varietal extra virgin olive oils. If you've watched my other videos about pantry planning, you know I am a big fan of buying dried ingredients in bulk. When it comes to the essentials of the Mediterranean diet, like whole grains, nuts, and seeds, it's just the way to go. Just think about the price difference between dried beans at eight cents a half cup serving and the same amount of national brand canned beans at 34 cents a serving. And there's a lot less packaging, so you're doing something healthy for the environment too. I'm going to suggest something you'd never imagine. Embrace impulse shopping. When you see some spectacular seasonal fruits or vegetables at a great price or shelf-stable ingredients like beans and legumes on sale, go for it. If I see a two-for-one on cans of tuna or bags of whole grain rice, I jump at it. As long as I have space in my pantry or the freezer, I love saving money on things that I can store until I'm ready for them. And it's the perfect way to bulk up my last-minute pantry. You know, the one where I make sure I have enough stuff on hand to avoid having to eat out or order in. This one is a pet peeve of mine. Bottled salad dressings, flavored oils, and pre-made simple dips are notorious for being pricey, not to mention they usually include hidden unhealthy ingredients like too much sugar, too much salt, or too much of both. And my favorite grocery store budget villain? Flavored oils. They're usually produced with low quality oil disguised with even less shelf stable ingredients you can add yourself, like fresh lemon juice or garlic. So ditch the expensive store bought stuff and have the satisfaction of knowing you're saving a bundle in the kitchen when you whip up your own in minutes. I have a safety deposit box in my kitchen. It's also known as my freezer, and it's like money in the bank when I can take advantage of seasonal prices and prep fruits and veggies when prices aren't so friendly anymore. Plus, it's a good idea to shop the frozen aisle too, because here's the secret. Frozen fruits and veggies are just as nutritious as their fresh counterparts, and often they come at a fraction of the price. So don't underestimate the power of your freezer when it comes to setting yourself up for success when following the Mediterranean diet. Just make sure to remember what's in there. Freezing extends shelf life, but not indefinitely. Number one, there's pretty much nothing more expensive than prepackaged or processed food. So you want to save some money? Shop the perimeter where the fresh stuff is first. Skip the things that are prepackaged or pre-washed, buy things that don't have ingredient labels stuck on them, and avoid the aisles of convenience foods that are mostly budget busters and diet busters. Do your best to skip those bags of processed snacks because they come at a cost to both your health and your wallet. Sometimes meal prep can end up costing you money when you get bored with the options you've made and throw out what you didn't get around to eating. But there's two simple strategies to make Mediterranean meal prep a budget buddy. First, shrink it down to just a handful of things you know you can eat in three to four days. Second, supersize it by batch cooking a few favorites and freezing meal-sized portions for later. It's an investment that yields substantial returns. You can save money and have a stockpile of ready-to-eat meals for those busy days when cooking from scratch is not an option. Do you have a window where you live? Grow your own herbs. Fresh herbs can add a burst of flavor to your Mediterranean dishes and a beautiful finishing touch, but they can be pretty expensive to buy. I used to be a victim of buying fresh herbs because they looked so tempting, but ultimately they didn't last. I even bought an herb keeper thinking it would solve the problem. It didn't. There are a few classic Mediterranean herbs that are almost foolproof to grow. 
rosemary, oregano, and basil. And when you grow them, you have a constant supply at a fraction of the cost. I can buy a basil plant for $2 that lasts for months, or one package at the grocery store for the same price, and it won't last a week. I know that was a bundle of ideas to take in, so here's one more bonus tip. Write them out, post them on the refrigerator for just a couple of weeks to remind yourself just how easy and affordable it is to eat the Mediterranean way every day.